So let's start with what is a peptide, right? I think I find that sometimes that's a really good place to start because people will often confuse peptides with collagen peptides, which we, you know, whatever brand we use, we mix it in our water and it's supposed to help our skin and our hair and our nails. And a peptide basically is a protein and a peptide is a small protein. So depends on the definition you use, but for the most part, peptides are proteins that are 50 amino acids or less. So that makes them really tiny. They are generally, when we're talking talking about peptide therapy, peptide therapy is tapping into these fragments of proteins that are actually naturally occurring in the body, but that have been synthesized in a lab and put together in a way that they can then be reintroduced to the body in a therapeutic sense. So one of the things to remember about peptides and peptide therapy is it's still not, it's very not in the mainstream. Most peptides are not approved for human use, which is interesting because the functional medicine space, the regenerative medicine space, they are all over these things because of the way that they work and what they're able, well, mostly because of the way that they work and what they're able to help the body to do for itself. Right. And the concept of helping the body to do for itself, I think is one of the most Mm. key concepts in peptide therapy. With a drug, we're coming in and we're blocking a pathway, we're forcing a pathway, we're, you know, we're doing something for the body. With a peptide, what we're generally doing is we're giving a signal to the body to perform a cascade or perform a task that it can do, but maybe it's not doing. 